all day. It should just be a few minutes. Hey, come here. <clears throat> you know who's in there? Who? Noah Tremblay. Who? The hockey player. Played for the Maple Leafs. So? Uh, so he's kind of a big deal. Uh, I don't care if he's Patrice Bergeron. I've got stuff to do. Thank you, Miss Mayor. Thank Mary. you. Just get to oh, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Here, let me help you. No, no, I got it. Here. Let me. Courtney. I see you've already met Noah Tremblay. Yes. Hello. Hi. Courtney runs the skating oval in the park. Oh, Leah, it's nice to meet you. You two have a lot in common. Really? Mm-hmm. Noah just built the new indoor ice skating complex in the Canal District. Uh, they're gonna have their grand opening in a couple of weeks, right, Noah? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Well, you wanted to see me, Mr. Mayor? Yeah, come on in. Thank right. you. Take care. Yeah. Uh, I hope I bump into you again, Cordy. <laughs> Beth, would you take care of that for me? Sure. If you can find a place to work on that desk. I was impressed to hear about your skating career in college. Thank you. State champion is quite an accomplishment. It's a shame you got injured. It happens. I'm just glad I can share the joy of skating with the kids now. Yes, well, about that. We've been going over the budget, and the city is just not going to be able to subsidize the cost of running the skating oval any longer. What? But rentals are up this year, and I've been recruiting more and more kids for the after-school skating program every day. That's nice, but skating oval is a luxury. The city just can't afford it. But Mr. Greenwood, the skating means so much to the kids, and it's Christmas. Well, Noah's new indoor ice complex is gonna have all kinds of programs for kids. Have you seen it? It's really very impressive. But that's not free. What about the kids who can't afford it? Well, that's why we're gonna keep the skating oval open through the holidays and shut it down right after the new year. What about the Christmas carnival on Christmas Eve? Uh, that is exactly the kind of event that makes the skating oval unsustainable. You're canceling the Christmas carnival? The kids will be heartbroken. Running a city means making tough choices, Miss Bennett. With all due respect, I think you're making a mistake. The kids aside, the skating oval represents a commitment to revitalize downtown, to make the city more accessible and family friendly. If it closes, that would be a major step backward. City council is dead set on this. Numbers are the numbers. But you could convince them otherwise. What would it take? Money. Make the skating oval a revenue source for the city instead of a negative line item that it is right now. So how do we make that happen? A uh, Christmas miracle. Okay, I'll get to work on a Christmas miracle. Merry Christmas, Mr. Greenwood. Merry Christmas. I can't believe he's closing the Oval and canceling the Christmas Carnival. I mean, the kids look forward to this all year long. It's not just the kids. This is the biggest event for Santa and me every year. Did you know about this? Did somebody call to cancel you yet? No, no I, I just assumed we were on. We've been doing the Christmas Carnival for years. What am I going to do? You're gonna figure it out. But how? Come on. You gotta get those competitive juices flowing. Fight for what you believe in. Is Santa looking for another elf? Because I'm going to be out of a job next Christmas. Look, he told you what you have to do. You have to find a way to fund the rink and the carnival and take the cost off his ledger. That's easier said than done. I didn't say it was going to be easy. Hey. Oh, hi, Trevor. Beth, this is Trevor. Trevor, my roommate, Beth. Hi. Hi. I got to go. I'll just leave you two to get to know each other. <laughs> Have fun.